Craft and Just Because with Chris Cowan. I'm just getting set up so I can see your comments, but welcome to Facebook Live for today. Sorry I was not um, available last week. I've never had to do that, but it just didn't work out. So today I have two fun projects for you, and we're using two completely different um, lines of product. The first project that we're going to um, make something with is the ice cream corner bundle. And I'm just getting my supplies here. And this one features a stamp set and a punch. And I love that because it makes making multiple projects nice and easy when you just have to punch things out. And so what we're making today is this fun little milk carton treat box. And I was gonna give you the dimensions here, so let's get out our ruler. And it looks like it's about six inches tall, and um, it is two inches wide. Okay, so. We're gonna go ahead and get started. I am gonna mix up the colors just a little bit. Oh man, now I can't see you guys. I hope you guys are still there. Hi, Jenny. Um, I am seeing a little bit come up on my phone, so that's good. Let me see if I can go back, if it'll... There we go, uh-oh, but now the sound came on. Hold on just a second computer issues, right? Okay, there we go. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to set that aside. We are going to bring in our paper trimmer. And today I'm going to be using purple posy paper just because that is going to be retiring and I thought it went cute with this stamp set. And so... We're gonna go ahead and do that. And what you need is a piece of cardstock that is eight inches wide by eight and a half inches long. And so on the eight inch side, let's make sure I have the right side. Yep, this is the eight inch side. We wanna score this at two inches. At six inches. And at seven and a half inches. And then we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. And we're going to score really easy every two inches. So two, four, six, and eight. Okay, now I'm going to move that paper trimmer out of the way for right now. I'm going to bring in my bone folder, and we're going to burnish those um, score lines. They're hard to see on this paper. Okay, so now we've done the lengthwise. This little flap up at the top, I'm gonna fold it the opposite way. And then I'm gonna fold the other one the other way. So it looks kind of like a Z, okay? And I'll show you why here. Now what we're going to do is we are going to take our scissors and we're going to cut off this bottom rectangle. So you're just going to cut on the score line 
and then I like to angle it up above the score line. So we're tabbing this edge. And I'm also going to cut off this little square here at the top. So just cut on that score line and then wedge it out like that, okay? Then you're also going to, on the bottom, bigger squares, not on the little side, but the big squares, you're just gonna cut up each of those score lines to that first score line. Okay, pretty simple so far, right? Okay, then you're going to want to cut eight pieces of designer series paper. I'm using the ice cream corner designer series paper, which is going to be um, retiring. I don't even know if you can still get it. I forgot to look. Hi, Kathy. Um, so we're going to put those in between here. on the box. And then I did all kinds of different patterns. So let's see here, I was thinking, and you want two each, right? Or three each. Let's see here. Oh, you only want two because I forgot. Did I not score that good? Oh, I forgot to burnish a piece. I knew I forgot a spot. There we go. Okay, let's go back to this again. This piece up here, you're not going to put any designer series paper in. So you're just going to want to put a few pieces. And so I'm going to... do this and make a pattern here. I was thinking might be fun to totally mix it up. And do something like this. So this is my other one. Hi, Diane. So I'm going to go ahead and change up my pattern there. That's the pattern I'm going to use. And so I'm going to just bring in my li liquid adhesive glue. And I'm going to glue those down. And I'm leaving a little bit of a border around each one. I love this paper. I'm really sad that it's retiring. <laughs> I just think it makes this set so fun. Okay. Whoops. Okay, two more here to go. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to, to flip it over and on this tab, I'm gonna add some glue Now, typically when I'm making a box, I'd probably use tear and tape, but I like to use the liquid multi-purpose glue on camera just because then if I make a mistake, sometimes I have a little bit of wiggle room. So you're gonna put those sides together, okay? That's gonna be the back, so I'm gonna flip it like this. So this is my front, and I like to push my front tab down. What I'm gonna first do is I'm gonna push my bottom one 
which is the back in. Okay, I'm gonna add some adhesive. Then I put my right side in, add some adhesive, my left side in. and then my front piece in. And just make sure that box is nice and straight, just like that. So now you would wanna you know, put whatever goodies that you have to go inside. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna push in the centers, just like this, and then you have a milk carton look, okay? So then what I did is I took a ruler and I like to go in about a half inch on each side and I mark it, Let's see if you could see those. And then I'm gonna come in with my hole punch and I'm gonna punch holes for my ribbon. Whoops, I want the littler side. So punch a hole. Punch hole. Ooh, I got a little close to the top there. Oh, but that's okay. We'll make it work. And then I'm using some of the polka dot ribbon that is also retiring. And then I just use my scissor and kind of poke it through until I can grab it with my nail. Maybe. There we go. and then go through the back and do the same thing. Okay. Cut that off. And then I'm just gonna tie a bow. I'm not gonna knot it or anything because I still wanna put a gift in it if I wanna use this as a to put a gift in. So I'm just gonna tie a bow. And then I'm gonna fluff my bow up here once I play with my little strings here. Okay, then we're gonna set that aside for just a moment. And I'm gonna come in with my oval um, punch. And I did the basic white in the regular. And then in the scallop, I did the Blackberry Bliss. And then I'm gonna use Blackberry Bliss ink. And I'm going to use the sentiment that says, treat yourself. We'll go ahead and stamp that right on into the center. Thank you, Kathy. Oh, I kind of got off a little bit. I just re-inked this ink pad and it looks like it's a little juicy now. So I'm gonna let that, let that sit for just a moment. Woo, yeah, it's pretty juicy. And now let's go ahead while that's drying so that I don't blur it, let's cut some ice cream cones. So I got some scrap pieces of paper here and I'm gonna use the waffle cone shape on the back of the ice cream paper and I'm gonna go ahead and punch the ice the cone and then I was thinking for the ice cream I would do some confetti ice cream and then I was thinking I would use this um, coral color. So 
So we'll put our ice cream cone together. I just add a little bit of glue here on the bottom of my cone, or at the top of my cone. I'm gonna add my Funfetti ice cream. And then I'm gonna add some more glue at the top of that. And then add that strawberry. How's that? We'll put say it's strawberry. Now I'm in the mood for ice cream. And then we'll just flip that over. We'll add a few dimensionals. And then we'll add a couple dimensionals on the back of our sentiment here. Just like that. Okay, so I'll add my ice cream to the front of my bag. And then we'll add our sentiment just up on the top of the milk carton here. I think these would be cute for a birthday party as table or um, party favors and maybe have like a coupon for ice cream in them. So that's an idea for those. So that's project number one. Let's move that supplies out of the way. Okay. Now let's move on to our second project. And that is going to be featuring, and I don't have a sample of this one, so we're going to make it together. That's going to be featuring the flowering cactus stamp set and then the coordinating dies. This comes as a product medley, so it comes with all the, the product. So it comes with all the dies. It had these awesome felt embellishments, which we're going to be using, and then the designer series paper that coordinates with it, which, oh my gosh, I love this paper. This is my second pack. And then it, I, it also comes with some thread. So awesome, awesome product bundle. So what we're going to do on this one is, let's see here. I'm going to move that to the side. You're gonna to wanna to bring in your paper trimmer again. And what you want is a piece of cardstock that is cut at six and a quarter inches by eight inches. And I'm using Highland Heather. And on the six and a quarter inch side, you wanna score it at a half inch. And don't worry, if this is your first time joining me, all the directions will be, um, in the description box when I post this video. So at a half inch, at two inches, at four and a quarter inches, and at five and three quarters of an inch. Okay, then you're gonna rotate it 90 degrees, and on that eight inch side, we're gonna score it at a half inch, Thank you, Jenny, at two and three quarters of an inch, at four and a quarter inch, and at six and a half inches. Okay, so then we're gonna move our paper trimmer out of the way, and we're gonna come in with our bone folder and we're gonna burnish all those score lines.
if you can tell, we're going to be making a small box here. Thank you, Patsy. Okay. So now this is the front of our, or the top of our box. And what we're going to do, I'm going to fold it put, so that little section's down towards me on the six and a quarter inch side, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to cut off um, these four boxes on each side on the score line. So I'm going to go ahead and cut up the score line. And then cut up the score line here. Okay. And then I'm doing the same thing on the other side. And then what I'm going to do is on this little half inch piece, I'm going to tab the, the ends. Just like that. Okay, so now you have a little flap that looks like that. Next, what you're going to do is on this next little section right here, we're going to cut off the little half inch flaps. I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. Okay, so now it looks like this. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to cut up this score line and we're going to wedge these sides. So I'm going to go ahead and cut up the score line and then I'm going to wedge the sides just so that when the box folds up, it's a little easier and less bulky. Okay. Okay, so now this is what you're left with. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut up these score lines to the second one, okay? We're actually going to cut off the bottom rectangle and we're going to wedge the sides on these just like we did on this one. And I'll lay it down flat once I have everything cut. And before we flip it and do the same thing on this side, I want to tab these little edges on the half inch strip. Okay, so now we're going to do the exact same thing on this side. I'm going to cut off this rectangle. I'm going to cut all the way to that second score line and I'm going to wedge the sides. And then I'm going to wedge these two ends. Okay, so now I'm going to lay it flat and that's what your box should look like. Whoops. Okay, then what you want to do is you're going to use the Hippo and Friends dies. And I used these two dies. I don't know what shape this is, but I made two of this size, which is the, the largest. And then you need one of the second largest. Okay, I already pre-die cut those since we were doing two projects tonight. So you have those. So those are going to be the top and bottom of our little box. So let's, let me show you how this is going to go together. We're going to glue this two sides in just like this. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna add glue and then glue it in. Add glue to the other tab. And hold that in. So it's gonna form a little square box and you're gonna do the same thing on this other side. Just a moment. Add glue. Okay. So then you're just going to fold in your flaps and your top. Okay. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna glue your bottom on like this and your top on like this. So it's just a different shape box, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and glue this down to the center of that box. I'm just using that as a guide so I can make sure I get it in the center. And then I'm gonna open that box up and I'm just gonna run my bone folder down on it just to make sure it adheres itself. Okay, fold that back up. And then we're gonna add this to the top, okay? I'm just gonna add adhesive to the lid so it only goes where we need it to go. And then I'm just gonna carefully add to the top of my box. And then, uh-oh, I wanted to open it here so I could press down. There we go. There we go. So there's the top and bottom of our, our box. And so then here's that second largest shape that I cut out of the cact flowering cactus paper. And you know what? I think I might use this. Well, let's see here. I don't know if that's too much green. No, I like it. I'm gonna use the, the green side. So I'm gonna add that to the top. And then I cut out a cactus and then I used the dies and did a larger cactus. I was thinking, so I think that's how I'll put them. I'll go ahead and put this down like this. And then I'm gonna add dimensionals to my bigger cactus just to give it some height. And then I'm gonna come in with my little felt flowers and I'm gonna add a couple of the felt flowers and there's tons of them in there as you could see. So they just pop out and I'm gonna glue a few of them on here. Just like that. Okay, while that's drying for just a moment, 
I have a little strip of basic white cardstock that's cut out a half inch. And then I'm gonna bring in the stamp set and I'm gonna use Happy Always Looks Good on You. Right here. So let me, yeah, will it fit on this one? And then I'm gonna use my Garden Green ink. stamp that right in the center just like that okay and then I'm going to come in with my tailored tag punch that's what I use to banner my ends so let me grab that And I just take my stamped image go like that. Go like that. And then I have a piece of three quarter inch by whatever inch on if the Highland Heather. And I'm just going to glue this. Actually, you know what? I don't think I want it on there. I think I just want this. So then I'm just going to add that to my box there. I think it would be too much purple if I added if I added the the second layer. So there's the second project, my friends. Oh, thank you, Jenny. This I saw um, in a tutorial bundle. So I am kind of just copied the pattern and then did my own design. So I hope you guys enjoyed um, Facebook Live Friday today. Again, I'm sorry that I um, didn't do a project last week, but I'm glad you were able to join me today. So I hope you guys have a great weekend if it's your weekend time. And um, until next week, I'll see you guys later. Have a fabulous night, everybody. Bye-bye.